Hi there, Casey and Jen here with another Fusion video. Today we're going to be talking about modifications and props. Um, we're going to be kind of picking apart saw today, which is a classical mat exercise. So we want to show a little bit of a difference between using just the body and the mat, and then adding in a few props like the overball and a blanket to find a little bit more ease of movement and also help some of your clients that don't have that range and flexibility still get all the great things that you can get from saw in the exercise. So Jen, let's have you get onto the mat. And so this is the classical setup, up on our sitting bones, legs nice and wide. Good. And Jen, as you saw, did this nice little wiggle where she got her sitting bones out to the side so she can find that nice upright posture. Now the arms are going to extend out and go ahead and go into your saw, Jen, and nice and slow. So there's a lot of range that needs to happen in the hamstrings here, especially to keep equally seated on each sitting bone and then coming up and twisting. And watch as the spine moves into the other side, there also has to be uniform opening of the back of the leg. Very good, Jen, and just keep going on your own timing. Now, the other thing is, notice how much she has to leverage forward as her arm extends out and she's trying to saw off that back toe, but this is a ton of reach through this whole area, and a lot of times people's shoulders will creep up to the ears as they do this, because the only thing that's supporting her is her. Good, and all the way up, and rest for a moment, Jen. Very nice, so excellent saw, but for those clients, once again, that don't have that back of the body elasticity and movement, we are gonna put a little bit of a blanket underneath the sitting bones. And for some people, this is just gonna be enough for them to actually get the range in their spine to be able to twist. Now, <clears throat> we're also gonna add in the overball here. Now, I really like this variation for a couple of different reasons. Because she has the support of the ball, she can actually start to access this whole back line of the arm and of the leg, so it's gonna to start to work the slings of the body. So let's show them, Jen, how to do solve the overball. So notice, ooh, nice, Jen, how far she can go. Now, can you reach this arm into the overball and this arm back, widening the collarbones, beautiful. Now, press into the ball to roll yourself back up, and that helps her to access her deep abdominals. Very nice, and let's do the other side, Jen. And now find that back line. Now watch this. Can you reach again into the ball and out into your saw? Beautiful. Now press into the ball to find your deep abdominals. Weight in that left sitting bone. Excellent, Jen. One more time. And over. And notice how supported she is. She can take her time here. She's not hanging out in space because she has the overball. And then bringing it back up and in. Was it easier to find the movement from the mm -hmm. core instead of just kind of going for the distance? Oh, definitely. Okay, good. Yeah. Well, I hope you uh, play with this a little bit. You can use an overball or any size ball or even a little bit of uh, one of those smaller or mid-sized um, physio balls too. So thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you soon.